Okay, welcome back, EEG 360, and this is uh, part three of listing 1.1. 1 .1, all right, well, listing 1.1, 1 .1, part three, what we did is we created a one bit comparator. Entity describes what goes in, what comes out, input, output. Architecture tells what goes on inside, and we're doing an SOP implementation. Now, what do we know about a two level SOP? Um, if I copy that, and um, let's highlight this guy and right click comment selection so we'll comment that out um, an SOP right if it's a balanced um, SOP where you've got uh, you know ands and gates and or gates on both levels you can replace that with a NAN NAN can't you you can blindly replace everything with a NAN so the second level or can be replaced with a NAN and the first level ands can be replaced with a NAN can't they and it should be functionally the same thing as long as it's a symmetric two level. Well, let's see if it is. All right, I just basically replaced my SOP with a NAND NAND implementation. Let's see what happens. Select your core component and then double click behavioral check syntax to compile the core component, which is now a NAND NAND implementation. Select your test bench core and notice it's already uh, got a check mark because nothing's changed over there. Um, you can try to click it again, but nothing will happen because it knows it's already up to date. So make sure your test bench is selected and then click uh, double click simulate behavior model. And we should get the exact same thing, a one bit comparator, but now it's a NAN NAN implementation. And if I zoom to full view, this little guy right up here, notice they're, when they're both zero, zero, the output asserts dual one. When the input is zero and a one, the output D asserts. One, zero, output D asserts. When they're both one, the output asserts the one. So there's my successful NAND implementation. We can close that. Do you really want to exit the application? Yes, I do. Those are two different applications, the simulator and the ISC project design. Now, what about doing a POS implementation? All right, let's um, comment all this stuff out. Comment selection. And let's come down to here and copy this. And what we'll do is we'll paste it into here. Okay. And now what I want is product of sums implementation, right? Well, we've got to go back and look at our equations from our Carnot map, but let's see if I can find those. Um, bring all that stuff. We'll move that up to the top here. And then let's see if we look at this guy right here. Hey, there's my POS expression. So it's I0 or not I1, right? So let's see, it's going to be I0 all right, so this guy right here is going to be I0, and that's going to be ORD with not I1, and then it's going to be a not I0, and that's going to be ORD with an I1, and then of course the second level of a POS is an AND gate, right, because the POS is OR a first level or feeding a second level and, and I think that's right I O I zero or with not I prime and not I not I one and not I zero or with I one let's bring that expression back in here yeah and there it is right there I zero or with I one prime and then um, I zero prime or with I one and then the two of those guys ended together all right that looks good well let's select the core component compile it oh, I want to save it yeah I got to save it and then select the test bench. It hasn't changed, so we don't need to compile. Notice our test bench file hasn't changed in any of this stuff. Make sure it's selected, and then double click Simulate Behavioral Model. And see if we get a one bit comparator again. And this time it's an SOP implementation. Uh, zoom to fit. There you go. 00, zero gives me a 1. Zero, 01 gives me a 0. 10 zero gives me a 0. And then 11 one gives me a 1. Yep, there you go. We have a POS implementation of a one bit comparator. All right, let's take it a little bit further. Instead of a POS implementation, if it's a symmetric POS implementation, can't we blindly replace that guy with uh, NOR gates? I do believe we can. So let's try that. Let's comment out that selection, and then let's just replace everything with a NOR gate. There's a NOR gate there. That OR becomes a NOR, and that OR becomes a NOR. Yeah, complete NOR. And then we need to uh, select that component recompile it, behavioral check syntax, and then select the test bench and double click simulate behavioral model. And there you go. Uh, zoom to uh, fit the full view and there you go. Zero, zero asserts a one at the output. Their bits are equal. 
0, 1, no, nope, output D asserts. 1, 0, output D asserts. And then um, when they're both 1, the output asserts. And there you go. So now we've implemented that one bit comparator four different ways. And um, thing to note, did we ever change the entity block? No, we never changed the entity block because that just describes what goes in, what comes out. Architecture block describes what goes on inside this component. And inside there, we did four things. One, we did a SOP implementation, a NAN NAN implementation, and a product to sum implementation. And now, how can, let's see, how can we get rid of this not command right here? Um, how do you do not with a nor? Um, can I do something like this? I wonder if this will work. I wonder if I can do I1. I'm screwing around right here. I1 nord with I1, because if you do that, what is that? Like a nor you or those? Okay, so that should give you that, right? Yeah. So if I come down to here and I do what? I0, zero, zero, I change that to a nor, then I truly have nothing but nors, right? Because if you take something and nor it with itself, what are you doing? You're oring and complement. So you're complementing that guy. Yeah, let's see if that works. So this is really nothing but nors. All right, let's select this. Compile it. Go up to here, test bench is okay, we'll simulate, and let's see if it still works. Hey, zoom to fit the full model. Zero, zero gives me a one. Zero, one gives me a zero. One, zero gives me a zero, and one, one gives me a one. Hey, it worked, nothing but NOR gates. Do you really want to? Yes. All right, fantastic. So that is our first uh, little lecture on listing 1.1, and we'll move on to listing 1.2. Thanks for watching. See you next time.